point parameters. We're going to assign a point parameters, and a point parameter typically will allow us to use a move action. And so it allows us to create that action after the fact that we have the, uh, the parameter in there. And uh, so here we have a door with a door tag in the middle. And so what we're going to do is we're going to assign a parameter uh, that allows us to move this door tag outside of the door while keeping it as a block. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the block editor. We're going to open up the 36 inch door. And now we're in the block editor. We're going to come over to our block authoring uh, palette. And we're going to go to our point parameter, making sure that our parameter tab is selected. I select the point parameter. It says specify the parameter location. Well, what I want to do is I want to pick the center of the circle. I'm going to do a shift right click and choose my center object snap. Then I'll pick. And it says enter the location, specify label location and I'm going to turn off my ortho and I'm going to pick it right here. I'm going to pick a spot and I'm picking with my left mouse and I pick and I just put in a point parameter. <clears throat> now in our point parameter um, we have some options that we can do <clears throat> and uh, if we look at these options, for example, um, we can click on this. If I were to just uh, click on the, the the actual parameter and right click, I can go to properties, and in properties, I have a few things I can look at. One is the label. Right now, I have a position one. That's the default. Um, type of thing. You should really rename this and I'm going to rename it saying it's point uh, to point um, I'm going to say door tag um, center and the description I come down here allows door tag to be moved anywhere by the door. How's that? And so I gave it a, a label name and I gave it a description and these help quite a bit. Um, also down here we have number of grips which I have set as one. Um, so we have one grip here and whether we have chain actions, things happen, one thing happens and another thing happens, we'll talk about that later. Uh, so um, these are things that we want to set. So uh, our number of grips, if we set it to zero, that means the only thing we can do is edit it in our uh, uh, properties dialog box like I am now and some many types of things we can do with the editing right on the actual um, parameter and that's more ideal to use the default value of one so I'm going to close this and now you can see how I have the name of this uh, and so I am going to now close um, I could actually close my block editor at this point and uh, and I can go on from there.